Tonight's top story and breaking news, the state has its first confirmed case of coronavirus. According to the North Dakota Department of Health, the state's first presumptive case is a man in Ward County. Prior to becoming ill, he had traveled out of state where he had contact with a person who has since tested positive for coronavirus. He is in his 60s and has not been hospitalized. He is currently self-isolating and recovering at home. The public health investigation is ongoing. The DOH has tested 27 people for coronavirus in North Dakota. 12 tests came back negative and results for 14 tests are still pending. The president addressed the nation tonight amid the coronavirus pandemic. President Donald Trump spoke for only the second time from the Oval Office. He says after consulting with top government health officials, all travel from Europe to the U.S. for the next 30 days is suspended except from the United Kingdom. This will apply to people and cargo and goes into effect Friday night at midnight. He also says the government will continue to monitor the situation and may reevaluate after that 30-day time period. The president also approved another spending package, this one $50 billion. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. I am confident that by counting and continuing to take these tough measures, we will significantly reduce the threat to our citizens and we will ultimately and expeditiously defeat this virus. Airline officials had been anticipating the announcement of new travel advisories, but it's not clear that they were expecting this kind of major restriction. Yeah, the coronavirus has already had a major financial impact on airlines. In his speech to the nation, the president indicated there would be financial assistance available to industries adversely affected. Now they